new commandment I give to you, that you may love one another. These are some of the last words that Jesus imparted to his disciples and to us. It wasn't a suggestion. It wasn't a recommendation. <laughs> it was a command that we love one another. And we all know that loving is hard. It is difficult work to love someone who cuts you off in traffic. Furthermore, love somebody who denies your very existence. But as followers of this Jesus, we are called to this work, to this command of loving. Loving means that we must see the best of others. We must see God's image reflected in those with whom we disagree. And loving means that we will do things sometimes that like never could invite us to. In this work of loving, we are never alone. There's a wonderful children's book called The Red Thread, where it describes a thread that connects us to all the people whom we love, those who are with us close by, those who are far away, and those who are in near presence with God. And the story goes that whenever we feel alone, whenever we feel unloved or unlovable, that we can simply close our hands and feel that string that connects us to all of those who have gone before, those who are here now, and those who will come after us. It's a reminder that, that in that red string that we are loved and be loved, and that in doing this work of trying to love as Jesus did, that we are never alone. So I invite you to join with those who gather as Grace Christian Connections on March 19th at 3 o'clock for Love Day. It's an opportunity for us to not just hear about, but to practice being and doing that hard work that Christ gave us to do. I invite you to make that commandment to love one another as Christ loved us, real and present, with those who have gone before those who are with us now, and those who will come after. May God bless you, and may you continue to be God's loving presence in a world in need.